Welcome back to part 9 of Feel the Beat with FL Studio. If you've gone through all of the steps to make a full song in FL Studio, we can look at the options for exporting everything into a single audio file. Open the file menu and look under export. There are different options here depending on what we want to do. Zipped loop package creates a zip file that contains all of the loops and samples we've used in the song, as well as the project data file that holds all of the sequences and patterns we've created. Exporting as a WAV file gives us a CD quality audio file of our entire song or of a specific pattern depending on whether we have pattern mode or song mode selected to the left of the play button. Exporting MP3s or MIDI files works in the exact same way. Let's choose MP3 and save a file. After we choose save, we see quite a few other options. These should work fine at their defaults, so once you click start, your song or loop will be exported. The last two export options are Project Bones and Project Data Files. Project Bones exports all of your effect settings, channel settings, and automation data, basically a skeleton of your song without the actual music information. This is handy in the instance that, say you like the effects you put on your drums and wanted to recreate that sound in another song. Project Data Files saves copies of all of the audio samples in your song, which is handy for keeping things organized on your hard drive. In our next installment, we'll show you a couple of tricks so you can see more of the possibilities that are available in FL Studio. Remember, there are 10 parts in this tutorial, so be sure to check out the other episodes in the Feel the Beat with FL Studio series.